Okay, most all my dioramas and models originate from a photo. I like to use a photo as reference and a friend of mine, Roger Herkman, he was an excellent armor modeler, diorama builders, sent me this photo because I said I had the Trumpeter SDKFZ7 kit. That was my inspiration for this whole diorama scene and once I got started, I started looking for details on the internet and saving photos as reference for the build. As I said, it's the Trumpeter kit in 135th scale. Excellent kit, lots of details, but lots of parts. It takes a while to build. You gotta take your time with it. Tracks are excellent that come with it. And uh, they were put on and glued because I paint everything on the model. I started with the figures. I custom made the driver figure with a hornet head and he's parts out of my spare parts box and I really like the way he turned out. He's my favorite figure in the scene. The canvas top in the photo is pulled back so I fashioned a new rack frame out of wires and then cut the kit part back and then with magic sculpt two-part putty I finished up the canvas top and let everything dry their straps or sheet styrene the model was painted all flat black highlighted with white and then oversprayed the highlighted areas with dark yellow the canvas top was also sprayed and I primed the figure black because later I would overspray him to create some highlights before I painted them all in acrylics. The model starts with some more detailed painting. The canvas top I painted in oils along with the seats to give it a different finish. Weathering was done as it is with all my vehicles with artist oils and terpenoid odorless mineral spirits or turpentine I guess is what it is uh, washes and effects now the artist oils that I painted on to the seats and the canvas top they stay wet takes them a while to dry and I used ground up pastel powders as I always have instead of pigments because I have lots of pastel sticks you can use pigments, but I always have used pastels. I grind them up and I push them into the canvas top and seats with a dry brush. The soldier figure here is from Dragon and I had this set and I thought it would look good stand him with him standing in the vehicle. And I really liked how that came out. And these two are my favorite, the seated guy and the one putting on his tunic. Well, I needed a house for the diorama. So I started searching Normandy farmhouses and I came across this photo. I really like the blue door and the blue shutter door on this barn farmhouse. I like the texture with the stucco and the stonework here at the bottom. So next the Panzer figure is also Dragon. I heavily converted him. He had bold legs and he put a new head on him. The building is a piece of sheet styrene and I get styrene like this from sign shops where they print their signs on these sheets of styrene well the scraps they throw away. So I go by and I pick up the scraps that they're gonna toss and I've got some big sheets that have lasted forever, really. But they throw the, the scraps out that are no longer the size of the signs that they're going to ever use and print on. So I drew up how I wanted it based on the photo that I got from the internet. And then I started with that. The diorama accessory set from Mini Art is used for the door and it's it's really a pretty good 
door and it has a, another door in there that opens separately. So it's kind of cool. I did a mock-up and the base is a photo frame plastic kind of box. And then the inside there is a styrofoam uh, piece from, you can pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot. And I carved in some cobblestone. I wanted a cool sign that was different than anything you could buy in 135th scale. So I also searched the internet for old French building signs and this popped up after a long search. And I like the uh, blacksmith sign there with the horse. I thought it was interesting. So I printed that out on my black and white printer just to get an idea of size and shape and how I wanted it. You can see the stonework done in, in the uh, Sculpey A and B putty, or two-part putty. The door for the window is sheet styrene put together, and the roof is plastruck shingles. They're 148 scale, but I thought they looked fine in 135th. And the texture on the building is a mixture of a couple different things. First, I did like plastic sprue, which was diluted in a bottle of tester cement. So it came into a putty and then I just started dabbing it on to get some texture. And that gave me some really cool texture. I did it a couple times. The scene is starting to come together. I purchased an Alpine figure uh, artillery officer since this vehicle is probably pulling a large artillery piece, an 88 or some type of howitzer. The German Panzer officer is getting ready to get painted. I've started its head here and you can see he's undercoated and I'm gonna have to camouflage him in the P pattern. I put spackling on the styrofoam cobblestones to fill in all the cracks. The rest of the groundwork is two-part epoxy sculpey and the downspout on the building is just sprue from a model tree and then brackets made. I've started painting now the house. First it was just airbrushed lightly with a, a light yellow color and then I started painting the building using artist oils. A lot of it's kind of a dry brush on there and just kept working and working just like a, you would probably do a painting on a canvas. And you can see I had the, the signs printed in color at FedEx office. They printed it out for me on cardstock. The door is painted blue and weathered appropriately. You can see some photo etched foliage also with static grass. This is also painted with an airbrush to give an undercoat. This will later be painted using artist oils and washes. Really brings out the detail in the plants and the grass just using artist oils with, with a somewhat dry brushing and then washes on the road and in the cracks. Mini Arts uh, set, this, this set with this cart wheel cart like a wheelbarrow comes with the uh, railroad um, accessory set. I thought it was kind of cool and it looked like maybe these could be used for a blacksmith, the shovel, the hammer, and I have this setting outside. If you check on my website, I'll put it in the link below. I use these fibers that I had bought a long time ago and I still have a bunch. I can't remember the name of the company but I put this on there and on my website I show even more how to do it but you sprinkle on the leaves onto white glue onto the fibers to make the effects of the camouflage that were used on the vehicles in Normandy which they were just piled up with branches because of the air superiority of the allies. Here I'm messing around with figures. I wanted to add another figure and this guy just looks like he might be ready to pull out a knife and stab that guy, so I'm not going to use him. And now here's the final piece. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.
Sechs Kilometer nordöstlich. 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 Sechs Kilometer nordöst